Hello, Deanna Hill with Windermere Mill Creek Town Center. We are here today with one of our agents' husbands, who he's a featured artist of the month, along with some of our agents. And we will be just asking you a few questions, if you don't mind. So no we get to know you. Okay. So, um, so the art that you have on display down there is photography. Correct. Is that right? So how long have you been involved with photography? Well, I, I did it in my mid-20, mid to late 20s a lot with a film camera and then kind of got out of it and just got back in a couple mm -hmm. years ago. Oh, okay. Do you have any particular uh, focus on your, uh, an animal type or what would you, what do you normally try to put? Do your photography. Mostly birds, sort of by default. It was mm -hmm. kind of by accident, just because I have lots of birds around the house. So mm -hmm. I don't have to go anywhere. Oh, okay. Is there a particular area that you like to go if you're going to go out to venture to find some unique birds? Um, up until recently, <laughs> the Riverview uh, Wildlife Refuge, um, it's become kind of an off lead dog park lately, so I oh, haven't okay. been down there much lately, but yeah. I think the, the favorite place I've been to is up in the Skagit Valley. Oh yeah. Skagit yeah. Bay area. And um, is there any particular bird that you usually try to uh, do a picture of at all? or? Um, in my yard, it's, it's whatever's available mm -hmm. and, and there seem to be more and more birds lately than, mm -hmm. than I've seen in the past, but uh, there's a little, a couple of little, what they call kinglets, there's a ruby crown kinglet and mm -hmm. a golden crown kinglet, little tiny birds, smaller than a ping pong ball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, those are probably my favorite. They're, the, they're a big challenge and uh, they come up with all sorts of unique poses. So why are they a challenge? Uh, they very rarely sit still. Oh, okay. okay. Their, their, their normal course takes them for, from one limb to the next. Uh, they spend maybe a half a second perch, so hmm. following them is, is a difficult task. Now, are they kind of like in the family of a hummingbird? Because they don't sit very still very long either. No, I, and I don't really know if there are any others other than those two kinglet species. Mm -hmm. um, you could for a more common bird type that you would equate them with size-wise would be a, a chickadee. Yeah. I think most people have seen chickadees around. Yeah, yeah, I've seen those. So the art that you have on, uh, the photography that you have on display, I think you have canvas and framed. Have you ever done metal, or do you have metal down there? I haven't done any metal. Mm -hmm. I have I have canvas and acrylic, actually. Oh, okay. And uh, the, the acrylic was something new that I did recently. Uh, I, I'm still looking for a vendor that I that I like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, there were some things that I wasn't real thrilled about, but yeah. um, canvas is inexpensive. You can cover your walls at home with that mm -hmm. fairly inexpensively. Acrylic is more expensive. It's harder to hang. Mm -hmm. Uh, metal bands. I haven't done metal yet, I'm, I'm, uh, but I'm, you know, sort of just now branching out into front really uh, getting prints done. Yeah, um, our son is into photography also, and um, he did put a sunset on metal, and it just seems like it really made the colors just pop differently than on acrylic and or you know canvas. So. That would be, if you've ever found your favorite picture, you might want to invest it. Because it's a little more expensive, isn't it, for metal? Yeah, I, I'm not sure which one's more expensive, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's acrylic or metal, but um, I've heard that metal can bend, so it yeah. you have to be really careful with it. Yeah. But uh, to tell you the truth, um, every couple of weeks I have a new favorite picture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so determining what I would want to put mm -hmm. on metal or, or in any of the higher level um, yeah. formats is, is difficult. So where do you have your art on display normally? At, at home or? Just at home, oh, yeah. Okay. Have you ever thought that you would want to do a, a craft show where you can, you know, people sell their art, photos, paintings? I have thought about it. Mm -hmm. I haven't seriously thought about yeah. it. Uh, that's a whole new, I mean, I went from basically social media mm -hmm. posting my pictures to getting some canvases done for home mm -hmm. to now publicly hanging them here. And I might be a little ways away from, you know, marketing, yeah. that kind of stuff. I'll see how that goes. So I know that the, 
uh, pictures that you have up there. There's definitely a few wow ones where you've caught birds doing very unique things. Which one do you think stands out the most at the town center? Uh, I think my favorite, despite the fact that it's not quite sharply focused, mm -hmm. is the kinglet that looks like it's doing a dance. Mm -hmm. The wings are oh, yeah. they're spread out and I call it the Stevie Nicks pose. <laughs> um, that's mm -hmm. my favorite. That was done a couple of years ago, actually, the New Year's right before COVID hit. Oh, okay. Do you have a bird that you still hope to capture sometime? Uh, I don't have any owl pictures yet. Oh, okay. Um, and I, but I really haven't. Uh, it's so easy for me to go down to the backyard. Yeah. yeah. Now down to the swamp, I call mm -hmm. it. Um, that I, I don't get around much, yeah. to tell you the truth. I, I Like I said, I made one trip to the Skagit Valley. I want to go back up there, not Skagit Valley, but Skagit Bay. Mm -hmm. um, but I just have to yeah. make the time to do it. So I know you do a lot of this. It seems like you're out more since you've retired. Definitely. So it's a nice hobby for you. And is there, um, what are you kind of hoping when you have your art your photos, I keep calling it art because it is art, um, down at the town center. What do you kind of hope people will walk away or what do you want them to see when they look at your pictures? I don't think I've ever thought about that before. Mm -hmm. uh, I just hope they enjoy. And you know, the, the, I, when I shoot, what I'm looking for is clarity mm -hmm. and the crystal clear, sharp focus. Um, the closer to the bird you get and get into focus, the more detail of the feathers. And that's really oh, what yeah. I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. That said, those pictures, I don't think, they don't get the reaction mm -hmm. that the ones where the bird is doing something amazing. Yeah. Like yeah. that one with the, the I'm not going to, I'm not going to do the pose myself, but you know the one I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Pictures like that are the ones that get the reaction. Yeah. Well, just so that you know, when I look at the at uh, photography, I actually am looking at the detail. So I have no artistic ability, but that is what I see very clearly: is that the the feathers, the eyes, you know, the beak, anything that's detailed about something. I I'm, I'm always looking at that. I don't know why I can't transfer what I want to see on paper but i enjoy i enjoy looking at it so anyway it's a it's a technical uh thing mm -hmm. the, with the camera yeah um, the more advanced the camera the better chance ultimately you mm -hmm. have of, of getting that clarity yeah but it takes a lot of practice mm -hmm. <laughs> do you still have some that. equipment that you still need to uh Purchasing your oh, future? Oh, I don't think you ever stop <laughs> wanting some new equipment. No, you know, there's, there's there uh -huh. there are a couple different formats of DSLRs. Um, mine is a small format, mm -hmm. crop sensor, larger sensor. Um, it gets a little more clarity, but but you lose some of the the I forget what the the term is for it, but Basically, you lose the, the distance. You gain, you, it pushes the image out mm -hmm. and makes it smaller. Oh, okay. So, um, I'd like to get a full frame camera. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, a, it's definitely a wonderful uh, hobby to have. And now that you can invest some time into it, I'm sure it's gonna, you're gonna just perfect it all the more, so. Well, Steve, thank you for joining us today. It was a pleasure getting to know your background a little bit. And it's so wonderful to be able to have your uh, photos on display down at the town center. So please go down to the town center as we've been introducing some of our agents and their uh, spouses. It's available for you to come down and take a look at Monday through Saturday from 10 to 6. So thank you, Steve. Appreciate you stopping in today. Thanks for the okay. opportunity. Yeah, thank you.